Welcome to online registration. When you click on the website, this will be the first page that you come to. If you already have an account, you can sign in by using the sign in button here or the sign in button here. But if this is your first time and you meet the criteria that's written here and you want to register for either the British Army Gurkhas or the Gurkha Contingent Singapore Police Force, then please click register for an account. And this is where you'll have to enter your first name, your last name, and email address, the user ID that you wish to be called, and a password. Now, the password must be 12 characters, including letters, numbers, and a symbol. You have to write your password twice, and once you have read the terms and conditions, select I agree, and then submit information. It will send, you will see a screen like this. Please go to your email address that you use to register. You'll get an email like the notification you just saw there and you have to click on that to finish registering your account. Look like this. Please check your junk folder as it may not go into your inbox and may be in the junk folder. When you receive the email, please click verify your email. This will tell you that your email has been verified and then click to continue. So you see this screen, all you need to do is click online application and this will bring up the next part of your verification. You must click enable secure verification and choose another way to be notified. This could be a phone number where you'll be sent a text message with a number on it. That number will be used as a code to confirm your identity or you can put in some security questions. Choose questions from the drop down and put your answers in here. I'm going to choose phone number. I'll put in the Nepal code, enter my phone number and then click text. Enter the number that comes up on your mobile onto your screen and that will complete the verification process. Now, once you've completed, you can sign in. Click the sign in button, click allow. Now you've arrived at the home screen of your application process. The application process is designed to replicate the application form that you will have probably seen on our website already. I'll talk you around the screen. Here you have your home page. To get back to this page at any point, you can use the home button here. If you're using your mobile, this will be available by clicking up in the top left. This will let you know how far you are through the progress, through the process, the date that you started your application, who you would like to join. This will say British Army or Gurkha Contingent Singapore Police Force in here, and it will let you know the situation. If you would like to cancel your application at any point, you can just click this button here, and this will remove every bit of information that you stored on the system. Up here is your ability to sign out, and if you have any comments or you would like to make any feedback, please let us know about your experience. We'll do our best to try and make this form as user friendly for those in the future. So every bit of information that you can give us is useful. Now on with the application. Down the side, you'll see these numbers one to nine. These are steps in the process. We'll go to step number one first. This is all of the information about you. Now it's pre-populated your full name here. What we require from you here is the full name as it's written on your passport. So please put it in. In this case, I'm going to make up a name. But for you, this should be the name that's on your passport. Please select which organization you'd like to join. Anything that has a red star by it or a red mark in the corner signifies that this is compulsory information. On the identification page and a number of the other pages, you'll be asked to upload a file. This is so that we can confirm 
who you say you are. All you have to do is click add file and you can either drag and drop a file into this area or click on it, choose a file that you wish to upload and click upload. If you're uploading the passport, you can click passport and say passport page two and click create. Now it says a number of errors. Once I filled in my NPP number, my NPP issue date, and my passport number, those warnings will go away. I can then click save and that will update. Identity information updated. Now you'll need to upload all of the information that we require from you here by going through and uploading the files one by one. If you're doing this on a mobile phone, you can use your camera on the phone to take a photo at this stage, or you can access your photos that you've already taken. If you require to upload more information, um, you need to upload more pictures or certificates, you simply click the plus, choose the category, and then write what it is. Please be aware that we require pages 2, 3 and 31 from the passport. Now if you don't have all of the information you require at the time and you need to move houses or go somewhere else to get that information, that's no problem. You can simply leave the application running and come back and redo it at any point. And when you get hold of that information, you just go through the process of adding the file and doing it again. You'll need to do this for all of the rest of the phases, qualifications, your address, next of kin information, and we'll need to know that you meet the minimum criteria. We'll ask you if you have any family connections, although this isn't essential, and if you've com completed a previous attempt, if you have, you can say yes, I've attempted this before. You'll add your previous attempt. I got through to the central regional interview. You can write a comment and then click create and that's that completed. The final stage then will be the disclaimer. So you can read the disclaimer and if you agree with that, you can click I agree. Then when you click submit application, you will not be able to go back and change your application at any time. However, you can click save. It will save all the changes you've made so far. When you've completed a section, you'll notice that it will go green on the left-hand side. When you still have information left to put in, it will stay gray. Once you've submitted your application, that will go to us. If you have any other questions, please let us know.